I was thinking while we're over here in the nether, um, I wanted to check out some of our neighbors. Um, I think T is our closest neighbor. Um, I don't think that I've met him uh, personally yet. I think he probably gets on a different time of the day. Okay, yeah, this is the one I saw from the water. Yeah, okay. Remember back in the first episode. Man, look at all this. This is not a good time of the day, however. Oh, look at all these guys. Steal his bed for the moment. Okay. Yeah, he looks like he's uh, busy, busy. I know there's a flower forest over here. Man, look what all this stuff is. <laughs> Yeah, you see, most, I think most everybody has a full, like, you know, enchant enchantment set up. So, uh, already, you know, so I don't, I don't know how well that enchanting um, business is going to do. I see, like, an underground part of his base. I don't know how to get to it. I wonder if it's, well, it's probably not even for people, like for walking. <laughs> Man, what is all this? Let's get, this, uh, this is like a villager. Oh, he's probably got some kind of, um, automatic setup or something. I don't know, uh, is this free? Projectile protection. Oh, this is an iron farm. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think he's got a decent amount. But I think um, Jay plays is probably our next closest neighbor. I don't think I've seen his base. Like, even from afar. Um, let's see what the coordinates are. Oh, it's the mush it's a mushroom bar. Oh, okay, yeah, we did go by here. Yeah. Man, look at that sure came for. Everybody just kind of, um, you know, just uh, like when they settle down somewhere, they just like vomit all of their stuff all over the, the ground. Hey, he has an emerald beacon. That is impressive. I just want to say. This is giving me, uh, Chocolate Island vibes. <laughs> With all the wood. That's pretty neat. That must be down to his mine. Wow, he has like chests for every each and individual item. <laughs> Somebody's head. Huh. Yeah, it looks like he's pretty established. I wonder if he's got any more or if this is any more stuff or if this is his the most of majority of his base. Got a nice armor smith. I don't know what this is. Mob trap. So I think that's everyone on the south branch, actually. I think we only have um like two neighbors. And I think that there's one guy off. Let's see, this is, is this north or that's south. So that would be um West. 
Let me check his base out. It doesn't look like it's very far. But I think everybody else is on the north branch. Just kind of like going to people's bases and uh, seeing what they got going on. I see he's only 600 blocks from zero. This is kind of cool. Chests. I don't know what that's for. <laughs> it's like he's building a village, doesn't it? Hmm, he's got a little. Oh, what, you, what this would be a little treehouse. <laughs> Oh, these up here. Okay. I think most everybody has pretty, uh, pretty small bases. The server hasn't been up that long, you know, so um, it probably hasn't been a lot of time to build. So, but I think those are our closest neighbors. Those three guys. Um. And that watermelon was real chewy. So as far as I know, uh, everybody else is over here on the north branch. people on the server actually. I thought there was a little more. It says the north branch is that way. This must be the north branch. Yeah. Yeah, I just didn't list everybody over there. That's what it is. So yeah, I mean, everybody else is down these ways. So... It would take a long time to go visit everybody else, so I don't want to. I don't think we're gonna do that today. But uh, I do want, did want to go work on um, the base a little bit more, expand it out. I want to build a, an, an enchanting, an enchanting, a furnace room, because uh, already, I mean just from the little caving uh, ventures that I've had um, there hasn't been enough furnaces <laughs> in the base so I'm gonna go ahead and get that um, at least get it carved out get it set up I wanted to do like an automatic uh, smeltery where you know, just throw everything in the chest and it automatically um, deposits it in there and uh, smelts it all for you course that means um, any XP from it I'm not really gonna get but uh, I mean that's okay because uh, eventually if we find a mob spawner beneath our base um, we'll get that turned into an XP farm and there's also um, they've the other server members have told me that there is uh, an XP farm in the end so um, you know, we can also do that. Um, let's see, I'll make a another iron pickaxe. I don't want to waste this diamond on stone. So I think I've wanted the furnished room over here because that's that's going to be kind of the next important room. You know, you just come into the base from a, a mining expedition and you just you can run in here the first room to the right go drop off all your all your stuff to be smelted 
That's kind of what I'm going for here. So I'm trying to think of how I would set it up. And I think what I want to do... Um, let's see, I wonder... Three... So I think... Maybe have, we'll have like... Um, let's do... Five blocks just to leave a little bit extra room for everything. So this is where we'd put the stuff in, and then we'd have, um, let me just go ahead and make a bunch of furnaces, actually. You know, and then we'll have, say, uh, oops, you know, three furnaces there. Three furnaces here, and then three furnaces over here. So that'll give us, you know, nine furnaces in total. I'm eventually upgrading to blast furnaces. I'm just using these for now. Um, and I want to have it set up so that, uh, you know, we just dump all our items in here, for example, and then they all get deposited into the chests, and then they'll all get smelted out and deposited, you know, to a chest, say, you know, right here or something. That way it's all automatic. And we just run in and dump everything and then we can go off and uh, do other stuff while it's while it's going. And it, because it's, it'll be so many furnaces, um, it'll, it'll, it'll probably go pretty quickly. So that's, that's kind of the general idea that I was thinking of. Um, and my other, I done some other um, designs like this in my uh, in some old uh, single player worlds and what I did for those I just used a minecart what I did was I actually had another chest over here you know in this spot to um, use for you know for coal to refill the furnaces so I'd have a minecart push a button and it would go refill the furnaces and over here it would be a minecart to collect the stuff and uh, deposit it in the furnaces so, um, but you know, just something like that, some setup like that. I don't know if we'll set it up exactly like that. Ideally, uh, I would like to not use minecarts at all, but it does seem like the best, um, well, the easiest option, the cheapest option. But there may be a better way, I don't know. Uh, might, um, do a little bit of research, draw some inspiration from uh, somebody else, but we'll see. Something I do, I will go ahead and do. Um, we got a bunch of extra diorite and andesite from uh, mining, so um, we'll go ahead and polish some of that up and uh, get some walls going in here. I don't know what block to make the door out of. Uh, is it still going? I don't know um, what would go with. I mean, I could just use more diorite, but uh, I kind of wanted to be something different, just to kind of you know break up the. Um, I don't want it to be you know too boring. Uh, Oh, and something else I wanted to do as well is set up a bedroom. What we can probably do is just throw some, uh, I think I mentioned this before, just throw some ladders on the side here. Um, and just, we have a room above with the bed. That way we'll have an actual bedroom, <laughs> you know. And we'll just have to have a bed just sitting in the middle of the floor here. But eventually we'll have... Uh, you know, I want a room for every, you know, for each basic Minecraft necessity. You know, we have a furnace room, a storage room, a crafting room, an enchantment room. Um, let's see what else is there. There is. Um, oh, we we'll also need probably need bulk storage as well. Because um, you know, there's things. I mean, already I've had to make another chest for 
cobblestone here because this one filled up real quick but um, but you know just an example like that this is gonna be a lot of uh, bulk items that we'll need to need to find space for um, we also need to finish up you know get the storage room um, figured out I think I'd said I wanted to have a um, you know piston system where you know you walk into the room step on a pressure plate and, and the whole an, an array of pistons open and uh, reveal the chests and hidden lighting and all that uh, I want to get that set up so I mean, I forget, I got, I got grand plans for this place. Um, you know, I don't. Uh, it, they probably, I say they're grand plans, but they really probably won't take that long to to build everything. I mean, it'll just be a matter of, you know, getting to it. <laughs> you know, uh, which I seem to have trouble with. I tend to procrastinate. Well, I think that's going to be about it for today. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I suppose for the last uh, little bit of the episode, let me see what we can get on Enchanted Book. Uh, I made a little temporary um, enchantment, enchanted thing right here. Uh, I don't have enough bookshelves, though. So, uh... It look like we can really get that good of stuff here. Uh, an efficiency three act sounds fantastic. Ooh, sounds fantastic though. Uh, I really rather ha rather have it on a diamond axe. Uh, but plain iron will work for now, I suppose. I need some more wood. This is the last of our wood right here, I'm pretty sure. So we really, we need some, um, just efficiency thing. So yeah, we really need some uh, bookshelves. And some more diamonds for sure. So it's getting there. We're getting established slowly but surely. <laughs> so anyway, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and sign off. Thank you guys for watching, and take care.